Let me know what you need. Back anytime. They'll be on high alert here. Okay. 
Amen. Nearby. You seem strangely excited, Herodotus. Ancient regions of the world. The land of the moon. Truly fascinating. Geniuses are ahead of them. Should I visit them? Only ruins remain of their civilization now. It has been lost for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But your journey has exposed mysteries which have left me with no answers. Commander.
Κράτ μας πισκούρα. Navas told me about the arena. I should give it a go. I'm tired. Shh. Do you hear that? Yes, I hear it too. What do you think it could be? It's the sound of someone lying to me. Or someone humoring a frail old man. They tell me you could hear the crowds from all the way out here. The thirst never quenched. Thirst for what? Combat in the arena, Mistios. Life and death in their purest forms. Love, hate, glory and ruin. All there for the crowds to devour. My name is Skura. Cassandra, I found a note that mentioned this place. And you. It called for fighters from all over the Greek world. These walls no longer shake because there are no heroes of the arena left. The crowds don't care about real fighters anymore. They just want blood. But you, Mystios, you could change that. You could make them care. And win riches beyond your wildest dreams, of course. If you were to fight and win. Perhaps I can make the arena walls shake once again. Good. Tell me more about the arena. It's been here for decades, but recently it's changed. As most things do. True. Fighters today care only about Drachmi, not honor. And the crowds now come only to watch one warrior got another. They're jaded. They want more than just killing. They want cruelty. Tell me about the other fighters. As a new contender, the choice of opponent will be yours. No slaves here. No hapless criminals. Just warriors with a resolve to spill blood for the crowd. I see. There are five current champions. Each one more bloodthirsty and ruthless than the last. You'll need to defeat each of them if you are to be called Hero of the Arena. My blades and I are ready. Choose your opponent. I'll fight this king of the bandits. Oh! 
You must have done well in there. Did you not see? I haven't seen a fight from inside the arena in years. But if the crowds are cheering like that, perhaps I have a hero on my hands after all. It's not the cheering crowds that bring me to the arena. I'm a Mystios after all. Yes, but I'm certain you feel something as the crowd chants for you. Skura? Manion? Ah, Mystios. I knew it as soon as I laid eyes on you. You could be... could be hero of the arena, like Skura. If you keep fighting, I foresee a long and profitable career. For both of us. Talk to Skura when you're ready to continue. All these brave, brave souls. Hobbies then to Politirio Evrisis in Mandran Metatisilis. And Afti Evrisis Choose your opponent. I will spear Velos like a wild animal.
Blade, Mistyos. The spear. It reminds me of long ago. Of the Persians. This spear has killed many Persians. As have I. On the battlefield and in the arena. You fought in the Persian Wars? I did. What was that like? Hard. The Persians were a formidable enemy. They had the numbers. They had warriors from untold conquered lands in their armies. It took a united Greek war to turn them back. Anything less would have been total defeat. A united Greek world? Seems like fantasy now. Agreed. But coming back from the war was harder than the war itself. Mayon and I found daily life afterwards to be... difficult. We had been men filled with life and death purpose. We found that again in the arena. What was the arena like in your time? It was a place of honor and heroism. I bathed my blade in blood for years. But that was a different time, and I was a different man. How exactly did you become a hero of the arena? What did you do? I survived. I have to go. You've done a warrior's job in the arena. Keep it up. Thank you.
Charge activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged.
landmass up ahead. It's Crete, land of mysteries and heroes. The Zeus and the Minotaur. You know the story? Parts of it. The Zeus was an Athenian hero. It wasn't a very popular tale in Sparta. Ah, it's an epic story. The Zeus ventured into the labyrinth to slay the Minotaur, an unsurmountable task. Yet he triumphed and saved the people of Minos. I feel like the Zeus and I shall come back. Cheer up, Cassandra! The gods are on your side! When your task is accomplished, we'll roast some lamb, drink wine, and I'll tell you all the stories I know. I am blessed to be in your company, people there. Waters, Commander. its nest when it returns. This is Sparta. I don't think I'm welcome here. I'm not sure of much, Cassandra, but I do know that when the time is right, we always get to go home. And where is your home, Barnabas? I'll save that story for another day.
You made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his daughter. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. As much as I cursed this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Kefalonia ever did. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. Come on. the more memories keep flooding in. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos I could forget. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and crossed it to the bottom of the sea. Did you put your memories of us in that box? I wanted to. But it would have taken all the wood in the land to build that <laughs> This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I hope you're right. For their sake. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them. Weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. That 
Training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Kryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fair. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. And last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But, for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it, but he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamos. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens, but they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers. Then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Ilotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. 
the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Himself will be taking over. Oh, yes, come out of retirement and put some proper iron in our Thank <laughs> you. 